Let's go into the word. Last week, I was talking to you about faith as a force. And I'm continuing to talk about faith is a force. Somebody say, faith is a force. Yeah, and God wants us to live by faith. The just shall live by faith. He wants us to live by faith. Amen? E.T. Bible, Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness. So we must walk by faith. For you to have victory in your life, you must walk by faith. You must believe God. And you will see what the Lord can do for you. Amen? Amen. You know that old song? Your mind is on the other side of town. You're messing me around. Yeah? Your body is here with me. So be here. Ne? Yeah. And listen because it's of Caesar going forward. Amen? We walk not by sight, but we walk by what? By faith. So then I took two characters as a, for study purposes. Uh, we took a man called Balzalai and a man called Caleb to study, to see a difference, and to choose the better, whether Balzalai was better or Caleb was better. So I'm teasing you about Balzalai so that when you get to heaven, when you talk to him, you know who he is. Because I believe. Yeah? Amen. So both these two people, they are over 80 years. And at the same time, as I'm teaching about faith, I'm teaching you to believe God for long life and believe God for health and believe God for strength that he wants to give to you. He wants to give to you. Faith comes where the will of God is known. So in other words, if you don't know it's available, you won't believe God for it. The Lord will revitalize us. The Lord will give us youthfulness. The Lord will give us strength. You know, at 8 o'clock, um, most of the people there are elderly people. Yeah. So I preach more that <laughs> because we are saying uh, people in the church shall enjoy long life as they begin to believe God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Believe God for these things. So there it is. In 2 Samuel chapter 19, verse 31, it talks about a man called Baal Zalai. Yeah. Who was a servant of David. This man was very great or rich. And go down. And he served David. It says, Balzali was very aged, for he was four score years. That means 80 years. One score is 20 years. Four score is 80 years. And he had provided the king of sustenance while he lay at Mahanahim, for he was very great. Uh, he was a very great man. So this man. Uh, nourished the king or supplied for the king or he, you know, he, he provided for him because he was a rich man. So his heart was for a king. So which teaches us as God blesses us, Intlis Yoyetu must be for the kingdom, that we are blessed to be a blessing. So there he was, he was taking care of the king. He reached now the age of 80 years. Now go down. And, and David says to Balzali, come with me, underline come with me. He says, come with me, let us go over to Jerusalem. Balzali, when he hears this, he's over 80 years old. He thinks to himself, he then, let's see the underline, come down with me. So you have an invitation from the Lord. Come with me. The Lord is saying, come with together. Amen? Amen? Now, are you going to come as the Lord says, come with me? Amen. Next verse. Let's see what Balzali said. Balzali said unto the king, how long have I to live? That I should go up with the king unto Jerusalem. Now, next verse. Note what Balzali says. He says, this day I'm four score years, I'm 80 years. Can I descend between good and evil? Can your servant taste what I eat or what I drink? What's the use of living? You see? 
This sounds like many of us. Some of us, we are not even 80 years, but you are decaffeinated. So we are peeling. And then he says, Can I hear any more the voice of singing of men and singing of women? Amen. Wherefore then should your servant be yet a burden? Underline this. Why should I become a burden? Then as I was meditating and as I was praying, the Lord laid it strong in my heart to speak to his people to say, any time a thought comes that say you are a burden, the enemy is speaking to you. The enemy is speaking to you. You know, you can be someone's wife and your husband loves you and doesn't mind to spend on you and to take good care of you. But then a thought will come. Demons will talk to you and uh, once when I was jealous, you won't receive the love. It's very difficult. Like I am a burden. I, um, toilets, I'm a burden to my pastor. I am a burden to the church. I am a burden to everyone. Yes, in, I'm, I'm just useless. The enemy is talking to you. Don't listen to him. Make a choice not to listen to him. And discern with it. This is not the voice of God. I won't listen to this. So there is Balzali. He says, I'm a burden unto my Lord, the King. I'm just a burden. I'm just a burden. Ushi ilona, u David, would you a burden? Or is it you, you are protecting your inner world outside? Your inner world, you, you don't have a good view of yourself and God. The opinion you have of yourself is not God's opinion about you. God asked Adam, Magati, I'm naked. Who told you? Though it's a fact, you are never meant to live by facts. You are supposed to live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So, who told you that you are naked? Who told you that you are naked? Who told you that you are naked? So, in other words, learn to eat about yourself. Who told you? Who told you you are useless? Who told you you won't make it? Who told you you won't amount to anything? Who, who, why don't you question the source of thoughts? That this thought, Ibuyap. Jango baso yi embrace ganje, we hake gangak. But yi, 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 vele, yi, 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 because there comes a time in life where someone must help you. And you have to embrace it. It's... Uh, didn't... Beggar, didn't Jesus tell uh, Peter, when you were young, you, you took yourself wherever where you wanted. And when you are old, someone will take someone. And you have to learn the art of receiving someone. Many people don't receive... Because... As you age, as you grow, then strength is not the same. So learn to receive. You are not a burden. Stop saying learn to learn with you are a burden. Oh, oh, I'm not didn't the Lord send this person to you? Why was Bizaranjalo? Minang Nain King, Buzumaki, why would you with yourself? Why? Why for the why? For the why? For the who? Minang Nain King, Minang Minanga Supega, Minanga, 
You are seeing yourself very wrong. No, let's spill us pegile. It's not the right one. No, that's not how God sees you. You are a child of God. I said you are a child of God. I said you are a child of God. And the different seasons of your life, God remains the same. In the winter of your life, God remains the same. In the summer and the autumn and the spring of your life. You know there's a winter. You know there's a winter. Now it no must be good. Your best days are lying ahead. I said your best days are lying ahead. Yes. So the guy said, I am a burden unto my Lord the King. No, it's not David. Next verse. Don't you think David is a Because he spoke by the Spirit. In the spirit, you are not as old as your flesh is telling you. Thy servant will go a little while. A little over Jordan with the king. Over Jordan. Why should the king recompense it me with such a reward? Why? Nay, man. man. Don't frustrate the grace of God. Learn We will continue to no malume etembisa wa pelelala. No, no. Something better can still happen with your life and through your life. Hallelujah. Yeah. Bega, next verse. He then said, take my son. Oh, Uti, before I figure it out. Uti, no, I want to, to die in my own city. Oh, go say, I'm. And be buried by the grave of my father and mother. We're about to come to Jerusalem. Why? We are happy. Behold your servant. Tatu Chim Chim Ham. What is China? Tatu Chim Ham. Yena Uhambenai. I wish I had time to talk about Chim Ham. Tata Yena Uhambenai. Next verse. The king of Watata Lenda is short. Because Ungulungul now available. Mouti Wena Ufunaranjal. Utata Le Wena Uitelai. Let him go over and do to it. Next verse. The king answered, Chimham shall go with me. Okay. Mo to Chimham. Nzama no Chimham. But that was not God's best for Balzalai. There, good Joshua chapter 14 verse 10. It talks about another over 80 year old man. This one, Luna 85. Luna 80. Luna 85. Uti gu Joshua. Umozi sasapila. One tumor was tumor. Nabuya ne good report. Not we are well able. Now, bonga la mande ben hamba na zange ba believe except mina now. Now when not Joshua give me my mountain because if we surround them, abanda ba ne unbelief, so it will affect them. Now, as much as now we are affect ngoba, no no Caleb go go suti ali ne ba zeba fe ngoba unkunkulwa tenge ke bangen ngoba ba ne unbelief. But time stops for you because Israel next verse. But I am this day four score five years, meaning 85. Next verse, go down. Yet I am strong this day as I was in the day Moses sent me. I'm st- I have not aged a day. Because age becomes nothing but a number to one who believes. Now I'm 80, 85 year old. Uti, my strength, my strength was as it was then, even so my strength now. Utibega, for war to go out and to come in. Give me my mountain. Next verse. Give me my mountain. 
Give me my mountain. Your best days are lying ahead. Ben Sabachela eight o'clock. As a grown up, if you wait for these young people to give you money, Uguti, you fly for the first time to Deben. You will never fly. You just have to believe God for yourself and say, Yes, God, give me these things. Give me my mountain. Hallelujah. Amen. Until now, therefore, give me my mountain. Where of the Lord spoke in that day? For thou heard in the day how the Anakims were there. Giants were there. The cities were great and there were fenced. Go down. Then he says, so be it. The Lord will be with me. Then shall I drive them out. No more giants. I will drive them out. The, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. They'll fall flat on the ground. Believe God. Hallelujah. Hear this. I want to show you this. So I was talking to you about Balzali and who? And Caleb. So choose to be a Caleb. Balzali was loyal and was a good man. But he didn't stretch to a next level. You know, you can be a good man, you've served God, you attend church every Sunday, but you don't know there's something available for you. And you don't exercise your faith concerning it. You can use your faith and walk in God's very best. So today I'm going to talk to you about two other characters to help you to see what is God's best and what is available for you so that you will a English. So I'm going to talk to, talk to you about two guys here. Abraham and Lot. Abraham and Lot. It's not possible to talk about faith and not talk about Abraham. Because he's the father of faith. He believed. It, Abraham believed God. So let's learn from Abraham and learn from a uh, lot. Choose this day, a lot, lot of problems, or Abraham. Genesis chapter 12. I'll start with chapter 12, verse 1. I'm just passing. The main text is chapter 13. In chapter 12, verse 1, it says, God says unto Abraham, the Lord said unto Abram, at that time, Abram, Abram, Get thee out of your country, out of your kindred, out of your father's house, unto a land that I will show you. So there's a time of coming out. And I'm not talking about deserting your um, immediate or biological family, but I'm talking about your, you, you over and above having a biological family, you must inherit faith and have like a spiritual legacy. So he told him, come out. Because... Sometimes, in certain frames. Come out. Come out. It's good, okay. 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 Come out and you're going to go to the land. Come out from amongst them. Oh, God, two lessons to it. Come out. In fact, let, go back there and see verse 2. And I will make you great. And I will what? I will make you great. Now, Sesegu chapter 12, because I, uh, I wanted to show you this, linking it, Nale, Linda, Bayaga, Caleb, who was young, though he was 85. To show you that Abraham was also a man of faith with his wife. When you read, go verse number 11. It says, okay, go verse 10, there was fair mind. So even Bible characters, they went through fair mind, difficulties. But verse 11, it says, It came to pass as they entered Egypt, because and he said to Sarai, his wife, Behold, I know that you are beautiful, and you are a fair woman to look upon. It will come to pass, must figure, verse 12, chapter 12, next verse, that the Egyptians will look at you and they will say, This is his wife, and they will kill me, but they will save thee. If Ukoko Sarah, she was so beautiful at her age. As a cooking, one maga young began. Should the Ezulinus of a competition as a reserve? That's why Ungulu not accept him shot. Ezulu not no. Nanging pass a young Galentine. No, good 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 good
So nango ke o Sarai uthi wa Abraham indoda yakhe. I I know, I know. Yama wa Abraham bekuyila bo baba abangekho stinji ukucela amakhosi kazi wabo ukuthi bahle. Yeah, cuz we ungatsela wonke umuntu ungathela inkosi kazi wakho bhe. Yeah, bese ufuna ukuthi umuntu makashone ile ukhale kakhulu. Umthela ku uthi uthi I know that you are beautiful. Manje bese waba yi coward, but angifuna ukukufela. Kodwa yakhumula futhi uyi have sister yam. So must figure lapha ke ngizothi usiswa mi, ene? Sibamba lapha yezwa, usiswa mi awusu inkosi kazi wami. So that's how be- meaning God kept her youthful. And I want to prove it in the Bible. Go to chapter 20 verse 1 and 2. That Abraham lento yakhe akaqali and akagcina ukuyenza. Wayenza la wathi makafika ku King Abimelech wayiphinda futhi. Next verse verse 2. Abraham said of Sarah. This time I was saying now Abraham no Sarai. Seba u Abraham and Sarah. Seba ne kamala ka nkulunkulu mara. Yaza ma tendenzi amanya wasuke. Bega verse 2. Say Abraham said of Sarah his wife, she is my sister. Abimelech the king of Gerar sent and took Sarah. Ah. Ah Abraham. And now this is many years later. Many years later, Usera Usa Usa Baba. Hallelujah. <laughs> And I mean, I don't think Ungunukul Angang fundis is in don. A Bible in Ating Benama Bible study, Nalaling a fundangi Bible with no intention of Guti Ayens and Lendo Yenzege and Billionaire. Should he mama Laga Abraham if Beli Baba? Should he ne mama Lamina? Hello. Yeah, Bola. Yes, Lord. Ay, msalwana. Ay, 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 ay. So, you can believe God for youthfulness. You can believe and say, God, Lord, keep me young and keep me strong and very beautiful. If you're a guy, keep me handsome, Lord. If David was handsome, Jesus, do something. Jesus do something. You know, Jesus can do something. So being threatened is said to you to say God can cause you to be youthful. Ungaba so youthful. Not just youthful as in uba muhle nje, uba ne strength to finish. Strength to do what you must do. Ngenzeka noma yini. Abraham and Sarah they became youthful. Go to chapter 13. Chapter 13 of Genesis. So in verse 1 it said Abraham went out of Egypt. Remember in chapter 12 he went to Egypt. Chapter 13 now he comes out. It says in verse 2 and very interesting chapter 12 there was famine that's why he went to Egypt. But a blessed man <laughs> he remains blessed back of verse 2. He was very rich in cattle in silver and in gold. But there's famine Cos Jeremiah uthe uthi a blessed man akaboni noma kuza heat ngoku yamthemba ukunkulu so he was very rich not spiritually only in cattle in silver and in gold and so God also wants to prosper you and bless you somebody say amen, amen. verse 3 so he went on his journey southward to Bethel and to the place uh, he and to the place where his tent had been at beginning so his tent was at bethel then now he went and stayed between bethel and ai and bethel means the house of god note the places he chooses to stay next verse remember we are comparing lot and abraham verse 4 and to the place of the altar the place of the what the altar so before abraham set up an altar there which he had made there at first and there remember he went down to egypt so when he came back he went back to the same place and the line there abraham called on the name of the lord uh, let's compare there's no verse that says lord called on the name of the lord but it says abraham the first thing he did after returning he went back to the altar where How strong is your altar? 
altar speaks about a prayer life, devotion, worship, spending time with God. Or do you only spend time with God like on doing? Ungunkul maslo mo logo ti sik tanda zel at nimche le ang na zugul. Aba you missed the joke. Jong hawa at kabang gutu gusa bantu anaba miene is zugul. Jong mulo ning tanda zel ut wena ubanjwe in. Iko ako na ungunkul. So Lord pega Abraham called on the name of the Lord. May you call on the name of the Lord. Quickly, Lot and Abraham, they are righteous. Because when you go to 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 7, it calls Lot the just Lot. The just Lot. He's, oh Lord, put it on the screen, they see it. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 7. It and delivered just, just, meaning righteous. Just Lot. Because it was People were filthy or sinful, but he was just. So, go back to my scripture. Abraham no Lord, they are just. But we are going to see, Lord became a, a righteous, defeated man. And Abraham became a righteous, successful man. Choose what type of a man or a woman you become. We are all born again, washed by the precious blood of Jesus. And I'm not just talking about uh, success as in possession. Success as in your walk with the Lord as well. As well. Amen. 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 Go down. So we don't hear Lord calling on the name of the Lord. Verse 5. But it says, Lord which went with Abraham. Abraham. Underline. My kulumang or Lord, it doesn't say he set up an altar or he prayed or he sacrificed. He, does, he doesn't even sacrifice. There's no versity, Lord sacrificed. But he went with Abram. Please underline. Lord went with Abram. He was just tagging along. church. I can't wait to go to the Sunday. I'm not going to be a loyal type of believer. He, he, he didn't use his faith. 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 If I may use, if there's such a word. I, I parasite when it comes to uh, uh, faith. I got Lord no Abraham. And then because I no Abraham, Abraham He had flocks, heads, and tents. Wabanako. Next verse. The land was not able to bear the two of them because they had great substance. They could not dwell together. Next verse. There was strife between the headsmen of Abram, cattle, and the headsmen of, the, of Lot. The parasites and the Canaanites, they dwell also in the land. Next verse. Abram said to Lot, let there be no strife because... Abraham was also thinking about the, in, the, the testimony of God to the world. Abraham no, no, we are this side, near this side. And Abraham first man, choose so fundanga to walk by faith. Uyo shugana ne destiny connect. Wait. He chooses green pastures instead of choosing a blessed man. Mina ngu lot bengzo kuza abe lusiba amngiti ye inina. Lo baba lo. Ubabungan. Sifige la ngai. 
yegan lento yegan lento yenu guti gua no manga be ba wrong la be lose ba ke sala ni je be ke sala la ni je sa isale lenje ela ah go ena je jalo ma ba kwati sem sem I'm just gonna tell them my piece I'm gonna tell them my my mind my peace of mind the peace of mind the fucking king in now was she your Lord Abraham and I got developing a faith here. It takes to connect. When I'm going to go to the house, to connect you into Zako. Why is she a destiny connector? Yako. And Bilwe. I'm a shock of leg. Uba was a bandu by the spirit. Would law uba nigini. Wabu chesuya babuza gwenifes. Who do you say I am? Mwaba. In king ayoku perceiver. Munga nayo. Munga boni ngomoya. Utlumutu, ya, ye nam nanek nam, ye nam talak nam, ye nuya kula, mara, mwame litu, elisha wae kula, kule lugufa, inko siaga Israel, ya figa uguye, wati, throw, shoot the arrows, wa shoot the three arrows, wati, oh foolish man, you should have shot more arrows, now you are going to defeat your enemies three times, the man was sick, but he was anointed, what do you see, mwobo nabandu? Do you see in Zeumundu or Kulayo or Tengesela or Ubona Utobo? Mabagna Banda Batalaba Ningi, Obanagi, Nova Kuluma, Nabeba Sindhi Silum Shato, Akomanje, where Nabangan Bako, Nukuluma, where now we are into now, we are we are moving, we are power and Nagas Tobelin Dot, Nagasi, Nagasi, Nago Manji, Yabamba, Ziakala Manji. Figly lightning, Don't shut me down because I'm preaching good. I said, Don't shut me down because I'm preaching good. All right, let's try to bring this to an end. There was a strife. Go down. Yeah. And it says, Oh, choose again. If you are got left, you got right. Next verse. He says, Lord lifted up his eyes and he beheld the plains of Jordan. Beggar, He walks by sight. Then, Ganti, he didn't know he saw Tomalab. Go down. It was well watered. Lord chose him all the plain Jordan. Lord Jenny East. They separated themselves from one another. Next verse. Because you can criticize Abraham Lord and Urait. And Abraham and Yamtanda, Lord no masagan genen king in Esotoma. We are humble rescuer. Me on sing sing movie la masin. Go go Genesis fourteen. Ongai keep it here. Ube u Abraham hai u Lord ngobu Lord u tingu rescuer. U tingu tanda zelo aga tanda zeli abani. Uya nagege lo on si zeni si kono iska sukisi wape. Mara u Lord waya waya. Abraham, our rescuer, O Lord. Nabantu abai 318, am land, O Lord, am keep. When we keep aban. When we lead abani to Christ. When we meme abani enko sini. Uban lo mtanda zelayo, misha na malang, wutin sema tolu ini baba. Ay, wutin kulegele in rentle, seka ibo nilele, wutin zo wup. Majuti, Lord, I'm praying for souls. Lord, I'm praying for O Lord. Oh, misha na wamagezwa baba. Kota, Lord, iba no musa guye. You need to be an, an Abraham. Good no more Lord. I actually a open room tenders. I ain't gonna say I'm. I'm gonna say I'm seven times more Abraham. Seven times more Abraham. Ella bakaye. Bega Abraham dwelt in the land of the Canaan, Canaan, which was mountainous. Bega sala la pezulu, but our Lord bega sala in the plain, meaning pants fled. In your walk with the Lord, it is we be strong in the Lord. Hambela pezulu, unga yake li pants. Be strong. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. He pitched his tent towards Sodoma. Underline. 
Why u beg it and lack of lip peg a sotoma? What's a sotoma? Gunja Zia buya a sotoma, Zia Kala. Mara, because I will call descending, we turn a land down of in a mad. Before we check that city or to Tolum Seven's corner, I will check in a good corner is Santo, Elom Elino Moya, Elifundi Sizui, Lanzo Figan Tolle Corner, or Ruhambiswa in Malikal. He pitched towards Sodom. Because more pitched towards Sodom, Ufagabandanaba King King. Are you aware of Fanganda Bessa Sodom? E.T. Abandonabake, they were married. Us Lord, they were married. Then, E.T. was feeding a low sea. This was checking down. Ugut in Jongo Bungulu as we would go to Gunjanja. Ha! Zating a loss is sung in a lot. Abu put the bagu land out, but no, 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 si will go to Nabu put Abangeni lap, Sifuna Labu put the Abangeni lap. And then, Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, what you know, niggas are my daughters that are virgins. But they, the Bible said they are married. How come they are still virgins? Which tells us good, good. Yeah, you want to Oh, it's a too much. It's a too much. It's a little too much. Amen. So, I'm going to tell you, I learned how to eat and eat the mud. I'm going to tell you, Hmm? When uh, no man is spiritual, no put. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Gupi, who long to go scars work who ingelo si ziti man the sugman ham. Nala matota na ashati le the sons in law. Azanga ham asala matota na ungo scars wa ham ba na e no lot mara wa pege move. And it was not a casual pege move, cause you know actually to pege ngi blind spot. Mara, what pega nenka nugo? Like he walangaza, he longed for it, he desired Sodom, and he became a pillar of salt. In Genesis 14, um, we don't have time. I'll just quote it. From verse 11 going down, when it talks about how he was rescued, o Lord. Then it says, go verse 18. Magasega a a rescue o Lord o Abraham. He met Melchizedek, the king of Salem. This king of Salem, who is a high priest, brought forth bread and wine, for he was the priest of the Most High God. And Jesus is a priest in the order of Melchizedek. So this is where tithe was introduced to us for the first time. Not under the law, because in the days of Abraham there was no Ten Commandments. So it was by grace and faith. Melchizedek came and brought forth bread and wine. Underline bread and wine. Symbolic of the body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. Remember, Abraham comes from war and fighting. And then Melchizedek nourished him with bread and wine. The Lord will nourish us and strengthens us. Nourish us and strengthens us. Somebody say amen. amen. As he does that, next verse. Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God. Of the Most High. So he's telling Abraham, Abraham, the Lord gave it to you. You are, you are, you are blessed of the Most High. Of the Most High. So Abraham, no, there's more that he can give you. There's more of the Most High God. He is a possessor of heaven and earth. You can't have your eyes on the Lord and on man at the same time. So believe God that he'll meet your needs. He's the possessor of heaven and earth. Go down. Then he said, Blessed be God who had delivered your enemies into your hand. Remember, because there's a tendency to think, you're only strong. Or in Ingakar. But you know, the Lord. We will fix it up. He gave, then Abraham gave a tenth. Underline. Abraham gave a tenth. Israel. There's no scripture, a city, Lord gave a tenth. O Lord, aga nigel ngo weshu. Futa guna scripture, lesesitu, O Lord, uye wa nigel. 
What type of a believer are you? Are you a Lord type of a believer? Or are you an Abraham type of a believer? Because for Abraham to tithe, he acknowledges with God you have supplied for me. God you have fought against all these armies I was fighting against. God, you gave me strength. You made a way for me. Tithing is saying, Lord, you provide for me. Tithing says, I can't rely in my own resources alone. I have to rely on you, Lord. I make room for you to enter and invade my life and make it work in my life. Child of God, some of us have not learned to tithe, to give a 10%. I want to encourage us all to start tithing. Like, let it be the number one thing that you do about finances. I'll, I'll teach a message some other time talking about your relationship with money. And the number one thing is learn to tithe. And you will see God coming through for you. Coming through for you. And it's a way God provides for us. It's a way God blesses us above all things. It's a way that we give so that the work of God can continue. Not everyone tithes because you have to do it by revelation. If you forstegile, yenze by revelation. Yenze by like start and you will never feel ready to do it. You just have to decide. You just have to decide. I I decide I'm going to start tithing. I take 10% of my income and I give it to the Lord. It's not. So I'm going to be in Hamba, I'm in Yenzo, I'm in Umkulu, I'm in Yenzo, 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 I'm in because God blessed them. Why? God blessed them. Note, I'm going to go finish something. He didn't tithe before he went to war. Or he tithe after he went to war because, which means, I tithe because God has blessed me. I don't tithe to be blessed. I tithe because He has blessed me. So, as when you don't tithe, what you are saying is angbusisam. Please, by all means, like if you can't tithe ima longa nai, ne malenge ko. Yeah, nege uti no unga na fifteen thousand as an income, beso melu kipe one thousand five. We tat up, we tat up. That's unfair. God is not unfair. God is righteous. So after He blesses you, uti no nege ni tu kule unga na voice. Uti ngupi voice ugu tu kule. So, John, he gave me the verses. He gave me revelation. He gave me strength. I'm preaching what he told me to say. I'm not saying, not by my own strength. So, even when it comes to tithe, he says, I bless you first. So, to not tithe is to, like, you have a voice and you choose not to sing. I wish I could go on and on and on and on and on about Lot and Abraham. What type of a Christian are you going to be? Are you going to be Abraham? Or are you going to be Lot? Allow God to come into your family. Allow God to come into your finances. Allow God into your finances. Do you receive today's sermon?